Shalom. 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 First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around four corners of the earth, risking their lives to bring out this truth in his last days. During the bidding of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Shalom. Shalom also to those who are sincerely seeking this truth. Shalom. It's the brother Yaraya from the GMS Italia camp, and I'm here with a quick one. So, I really don't know what title to give this lesson, but I'm inspired to do it, you know, always from the excerpt of the video that I posted regarding, you know, the last camp we, we, we had this last Sunday. So as you can see on the street on the screen, because if you go to my page, you can the GMS Italia. This page you can actually you know watch the video. You know I believe at the hour you know it's um, from one hour three minutes or so. You know even earlier before, way earlier before. So we were actually teaching, and these two two individuals you know they were walking by, and they stopped. Okay. At first, they were they were right behind the camera, okay, and they were just listening to to what we were teaching, you know, by the spirit. And the beautiful thing is, you know, when they stopped, you know, what the spirit was actually, you know, leading leading me to teach was, you know, about the ignorance of the house of Israel, you know. So I quoted the book of um, Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3, you know, speaking about, you know, the ox know its owner, but, you know, Israel does not consider. I also quoted, you know, the book of um, Hosea, is it chapter 8 verse um, 4, that speaks about, you know, my people perish for lack of knowledge. I also quoted, um, um, well i can't remember you know i was just by the spirit i was just you know quoting you know scriptures you know on the ignorance of jake you know so anyway i was actually looking at the brothers and i, I was actually looking at these two individuals you know and the spirit was actually heavy on me you know speaking about the house of israel and their ignorance and I felt, I felt, I, I kind of felt like they were actually Jakes, you know, because they stood for more than, you know, I think for more than good five to ten minutes, you know, before they walked up, you know. So what happened was, you know, we started, we were, you know, teaching, you know, bringing out scriptures and all of a sudden, you know, they came forward, they walked forward, you know, so you can see them right here and you know the funny thing is you know the most incredible thing is you know we've been teaching and they've been listening you know wasting their time to listen and all of a sudden he just came over and said he doesn't believe what's written in the scriptures you know <laughs> so that that actually left me with my jaws open like what you know so he told me he doesn't believe the scriptures you know and yeah i just wanted to you know bring out some precepts on people like this and i could really feel the individuals that were both jakes you know so first of all yeah when he said he doesn't believe the scriptures you know i told him we go by the scriptures you know that's actually the map that is going to lead us back to eternal life you know so I quoted, you know, we started bringing out different precepts, you know, regarding the scriptures, you know, that we are saved only by the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know. So let me bring out the book of Psalm. This 
This is the book of Psalm chapter 14 verse 1 which quotes, The fool had said in his heart, there is no power. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. Okay. And this is just, you know, the state of mind that many of our people are actually in right now, you know. They're carried away. They've been drinking that Babylon juice heavily, man. They've been drinking that Babylon juice, you know, that wine of fornication from America where there's all these different doctrines, different philosophies, you know. And these two individuals, you know, while they were standing in front of us, you know, when they walked up to us, they were trying to like feel like some 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 professors or some I don't know, some philosophers or anything, you know. We actually, you know, we actually cussed them out to get to get out, you know, to get going, you know. We did we didn't literally cause them out to get going but we, we were just you know going back with them with you know scriptures to let them know that we don't really care about what they think about the scriptures if they don't believe that we stand on the scriptures that's what we follow and the spirit was heavy on the brother Kalam you know Kalam like I said in the last video I did if I'm not mistaken the brother had a heavy spirit on him that day that spirit was you know in spirit of intolerance you know he wasn't tolerating anybody that day you know so people were just walking by immediately he saw them he could discern and be like man these people are not ready for the truth you know so he doesn't doesn't want to so we actually quoted you know the scripture um don't cast your pearl to to pigs you know just paraphrasing you know so this is actually what it is. There are a lot of people just going all around, you know, being drunk of these philosophies, this wine, this Babylon, Babylon wine, you know, trying to, you know, cast some demons on you and, you know, make you feel like what you're teaching is not right, you know. But we, we need to be we need to be rooted, you know. So as I read from the book of um, Psalm 14, 1, it says, the fool that said in his heart, there is no God, there is no power. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that do it good. You know, if you don't do according to the scriptures, okay, if you don't do according to the laws and statutes of the Most High, man, you're doing abominable works. You know, this walk, these words are, are, are what's going to take us, give us, you know, eternal life. Okay. The way to find eternal life are written in the book, you know. Didn't Yahweh Shai say, I am the, the way, the truth, and life? No one comments to the Father except through me. And didn't we read from the book of first, um, is it John chapter 1 that says, at the beginning of the world, uh, the beginning, I'm just paraphrasing, you know, I don't want to make this video too long. It said, in the beginning was the world, and the world was with God and the word was God, you know, and that's representing Yahweh Shai. You know, Yahweh Shai is the word. Okay. This book is life. So whoever walks up to us and tells us that, you know, they don't believe what we teach, man, they could just, you know, go to hell, man. We don't we don't we don't care, man. So this is the book of well I don't have um this is the book of um, Wisdom of Solomon. So, pardon me. Oops. My screen is okay. Table of content, Wisdom of Solomon. Just going to read from the first chapter. You know, well, I actually wanted to do a different lesson on this one, but I'll just bring it out. You know, it says, Love righteousness ye that be judges of the earth think of the lord yahweh shem yahweh with a good heart and in simplicity of heart seek him for it will be found of them that tempt him and show it himself unto such that do not trust him for forward thoughts separate from yahweh power 
and his power when it is tried reproveth the unwise for into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin for the holy spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in so you can see <laughs> the scripture is really deep and it's really beautiful you know so how can you have the spirit of the most high walking in you when you don't even love his ways you know that's madness so you see i'm just doing this lesson because you know today i was also at the plantation and you know you can't even have uh, an, an upright conversation anymore with anyone you know people are just all about themselves people are all about you know what they think is right you know people are all about, you just see they are all zombies you know living zombies you know just walking up and down you know just like the book of ezekiel 37 speaks about you know dry bones man dead bodies walking just like the book of um, revelation also speaks you know people are not willing to listen to the truth they just want to you know do things according to how it feels good with them and you know you how about shame you how shall be justified to bring a heavy and wicked judgment on these people man and i really can't wait the most High brings judgment on these people because you know they stress they stress they stress this truth out man and i can now i can really feel the pain of you know what many archims go through the apostles and the elders you know teaching this truth for many years and people you know mocking them and you know taking different turns and man it's really really painful and it's it's not how should i put it i'm looking for the right word it's not it's not motivating you know you really need a strong spirit in this truth to carry on because if you're not strong and rooted you know things like this might you know might make you feel sad and you know even want to you know leave this truth man this is the book of isaiah isaiah 34 verse 16 This is the book of Isaiah chapter 34 verse 16 it quotes Seek ye out of the book of the Lord Yahweh and read no one of these shall fail none shall want a mate for my mouth it at commandment and his spirit it at gathered them okay so we should seek out of this book of the law this is where we have life you know this is the map to this is the map to eternal life so do we care when those brothers were actually telling us they don't believe what what's written in the book man we don't give a flying f man we don't care man as for us this book is the map to life you know it's like the book of joshua says you know as for me i'm just paraphrasing as for me and my family we shall worship and serve the most high yahweh bahashem yahweh shai you know these words are food to our souls man and now these last days you can really see that we are actually at the last days man because you know there is this spirit going around the surface of the earth you know going to and fro in, in the earth and this spirit is the spirit of you know of rebellion people rebel at the truth you know they don't want to listen to the truth they rebel they rebel at the truth whenever that you come with the truth man they go against you they rebel and it's the most high you have about shem shy you know doing his work and as we believe the elect who are meant to get these words 
who are meant to believe in this book they are already getting it if not all i believe but majority is already gotten it you know so to close this um to close this lesson because i don't want to make it really too long i'm going to read always from the book of um, isaiah chapter 30 this time And I'll read from verse 9. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 30 verse 9. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai, which says to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things prophesy the seed man this is exactly what our people have become man when you teach this truth to them man it burns them man it burns them to the deepest and they, and, they, and they show their horns man they pick the side in which they don't they want to go which is the wrong side you know the Most High has tried always to gather us as a hen gathereth his chicks, you know, by his prophets. But what do we do to his prophets? We don't believe these prophets, you know. We push them aside. We make them feel bad. Well, there is the scripture that says, and in those days they shall know a prophet as being amongst them. Man, it's crazy, man. So... This is to them, to them Akiams, you know, to them brothers, you know, out there teaching this truth, man. Be strong whenever you get, you find yourself in a situation like this, you know, when people try to demoralize you from teaching this truth, man. Just think about what's, what's about to come, man. You know, this suffering is really what everything that is coming man man what is coming man <laughs> we're all really going to be <laughs> we're going to give our praises to the most shy man we would forget all the times that we've suffered for this truth we'll forget everything we've gone through man so let's run this race and get to the end it's a marathon it's a long one but we're going to get to the to the to the to the to the end line. Having said this, I hope this lesson was edifying. And I would like to give all praises to the most high Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash, my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS, who taught me this truth, which is the hundred percent truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. It's the brother Yaraya from the GMS Italia camp. Shalom.